Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create this amazing dashboard in Power BI. First, we will start with how to import data into Power BI. Then, we will look at how you could build a data model. After we complete that step, we will start adding some visuals and filters to our dashboard. Before we start importing data, let's take a moment to see our final dashboard. Main focus of this dashboard is sales of a fictional company. This dashboard is completely dynamic. If I click on any of these filters, I will be able to filter my data. Also, I can filter my data if I click on any of these charts. Let me click on this segment. Also, I can click on this one. Basically, this selection will affect all other visuals. Now it's time to see how to import data into Power BI. These are the sheets that we are going to use for creating dashboard. As you can see, we have three sheets. First one is orders, second is returns, and then people. We will be importing all these sheets and then creating our data model. Let's open one blank Power BI report and import the files to it. To import our data, let's go to get data, Excel workbook, and then let's find files that we would like to import. Now let's click on open. Now, let's select all sheets and click Transform. Now we are able to see Power Query Editor. I will quickly fix two tables before importing them. So first, let's fix this Returns table. As you can see, we need to fix these column names. So, how can we do that? In this Home tab, let's find this option Use First Row as Headers. If I click on that, I will be able to see proper column names. Let's do the same for orders. As you can see, we don't need to change that in orders table, so let's proceed to people. And let's do the same for people. Use first row as headers. Perfect. Now we can save our work and start creating data model. Click on this, close and apply. If we check on this right hand side, we will be able to see that our data is successfully imported. Let's expand this orders table, people and returns. Now we have all this data properly imported. Let's proceed to building our data model. Let's click on this model view and then we will be able to see our tables. As you can see we already have connection between those two tables based on region column and now we will need to establish the connection between orders table and returns table. For that purpose we are going to be using order ID column. So let's use order ID. And now we have connection between those two tables. Now with this, we completed our data model. We have all these tables connected to each other. It's time to proceed to creating our dashboard. Let's go to report view. And now we can start with our background. For background, I'm gonna import one image. If I click on this canvas, then go to this option here, canvas background, image. Let's click on this image, open. And here in this image fit, instead of normal, let's provide fit. And for this option, let's put zero. Excellent. Now we have our background. And let's start with our title. Excellent. Now I can remove this background. And that is much better. Let's insert one more text box. Ok, now I will create different sections for this dashboard. I'm gonna go to this insert tab, shapes and then line. Excellent, now it's time to add icons and titles to our dashboard. 
Let me show you how to get nice icons for your dashboard. You can use this site to download your icons. Basically in this search box you can type for example customers, press enter and you will be able to see different customer icons. Perfect. Now I'm gonna import those icons in my dashboard. Excellent, now we have these icons in place. Let me show you how you can import them. In this insert tab, let's find image, let's click on that and then you will be able to find your icon. Let's click for example on this one and you will be able to see your icon, you can resize it and place it on proper location. Now I'm gonna quickly add titles to this dashboard. Great, now with this completed it's time to proceed to final and the most important part of this tutorial. Now we will be adding filters and visuals to our dashboard. Let's start with KPI cards. In this first KPI card I would like to display total number of customers. So let's use customer ID, place it in this field section and instead of first let's use count distinct. Now this way we are able to see total number of customers. Let's now modify this KPI card. Excellent, we have first KPI. Let me resize this. And I'm gonna place it here. I can copy this KPI. And do that one more time. For the last one. Great. Now instead of this customer ID value, I'm gonna provide total sales. So let's use sales, place it here. And we will be using sum of sales. So that's correct. I'm gonna need just to resize this. And that is perfect. Let's do the same for this one. This time instead of sales, let's provide quantity. Great, now we have all three KPI cards completed. Let's proceed to our charts. First I will add donut chart. Let's click on this donut. Excellent. Basically we will create four donut charts for each of these values. So for the first one it will be ship mode. Now let's use ship mode and place it here in this legend. And in this value section I'm gonna provide sales. Excellent. First instead of these four slices I would like to see only three. So how can I do that? I will use this ship mode, place it here in these filters. Instead of basic filtering let's use top n. Let's use top 3 and by value here I will provide sales. Apply filter and now we will be able to see only first 3 values. Let's now modify this chart. First I will remove this legend. Let's also remove title. Perfect. Let's go back to visual. For detail labels I would like to change something here. For label contents, let's provide category and data value. And now let's modify values. Color will be white. And for this one, let's provide something like this. I'm gonna make it bold. And also I will need to remove that background. Let's go to general effects. And let's remove background. Perfect. Now I'm gonna copy this chart. We will need four of these in total. So we have 3 and then 4. Perfect. Now I'm gonna need to resize them. Ok, excellent. Now we have 4 donor charts. Let me now provide proper values for each of them. For this one I'm gonna be using instead of ship mode. I'm gonna be using category. So let's use category column, place it here and let's remove ship mode. Excellent. For this one I will be able to see top 3 states. So instead of ship mode let's use state. Excellent. Now as you can see we have more than 3 states in this data set. So I will need to remove them. Let's place state here. Let's also remove this filter. Let's use top n, top 3, 
and then let's use sales apply and now we are able to see top three states perfect for the last one we will be able to see top three customers so how can we do that let's use customer name instead of ship mode let's also remove this filter and now let's display top three customers let's use top n okay and then let's put sales here apply and that's it now i need to change slice color let me show you how can you do that click on any visual then go to format slices and then you will be able to change slice color let's use this one next one will be this color and for the last one let's use this one excellent now we can do the same for all of these charts but we have also another option for example let me click on this chart let's click on these more colors and let's copy this hex code if i go to view teams and then customize current team then i will be able to provide default colors so let's click on apply let's do the same for second color now with this we completed that first section of our dashboard let's proceed to the second one in this section here we will be able to present top five cities for metric we will be using sales again but this time we will be using column chart so let's click on stacked column chart it will be placed here perfect and now we need to provide values first value will be city let's put it in this box here and second value will be sales let's provide it here and now we are able to see total sales for each of these cities perfect but as i said i would like to see only top five so let's use city column again place it here in this filter top n this time let's type five and again let's provide sales here apply okay let me fix this instead of two let's provide five apply okay perfect now we are able to see top five cities by sales let me now modify this visual let's go to format let's remove this title here and let's do the same for this one for this i'm gonna completely remove this axis i don't need to see that but i will be able to present data labels let's modify those labels let's add background also let's modify values color will be white and i'm gonna make it bold display units let's do that in thousands and let's make it smaller perfect let me close this and also i would like to remove that background that i have great let me go back to visual and let me modify those data labels excellent with this we completed that first chart now let's proceed to next one next one will be map chart let's click on this shape map and in a moment you will be able to see how this works first we need to provide location for location i'm going to be using this state column let's provide it here and now we will be able to see that all these states belong to us now we need to provide value value will be sales again so let's place it here and now with this completed we will be able to see in which state we had the highest sales let me now format this visual this is fine let me change those fill colors this one will be white and this one will be this color great i will also remove title let's remove title and background that's perfect we are completed that visual but let me also resize this a bit it looks very nice so let's proceed to last chart so let's go to visualizations and let's click on this stacked bar chart excellent now i need to provide values here in this first box i will put segment and then here i will provide sales excellent 
This way we are able to see sales for each of these segments. Let's now quickly modify this chart. Ok great, now with this chart basically we completed this dashboard, but there is also one more thing that we need to add to this dashboard, it's our filter. So let's go to visualizations and let's choose this slicer, let's click on that. And now I have this field box here and what I need to provide here is this region column. And now we are able to see different regions, let's try to filter our data by region. Excellent. Now let me format this slicer, let's click on format, slicer header, we don't need to see that, slicer settings, it will be tile, I'm gonna also resize this, place it here, let's remove background, excellent, now we have this slicer completed. Let's again try to filter that, basically it's working perfect. The only thing that I would like to change is this KPI card here. I will need to resize this, let me quickly fix that. Ok, let's now try to filter that and basically it's working perfect. Ok, with this we completed our dashboard. I hope that you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching.